Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, The Influence of Love. I have one of the most highly anticipated holiday releases to review for you guys today. After I saw so many photos of it, it just doesn't do it justice like when I saw it in person. I mean, it's literally one of the most beautiful collections, in my opinion, that MAC has ever created in collaboration with another person or theme, what have you. Um, this collection definitely screams Mariah Carey for MAC. And this is just the packaging. I mean, just the boxes. It is so pretty. I'm gonna try to zoom in there for you guys. As you can see, it has this glitter and gold look to it. I kind of wanted to match that today for the video. So I went a little overboard with my silver theme as well. This collection is just so glam, so pretty, so girly. I mean, honestly, for me, I feel Christmas came super early this year. I am so satisfied with this purchase. And ladies, if you don't already have this collection, you definitely, definitely need to get your hands on it. So this is the skin finish, extra dimension skin finish to be extra correct. And it is called My Mimi. So as you guys can see, this is the gold packaging on the outside of it. It's just so beautiful, oh my gosh. And so then, mine, I kind of swatched a little bit without meaning to. It did have like one, like two little bubbles on it, but it's basically, I mean, it came in really great condition. So I wasn't really upset because I'm like, I'm gonna end up using it and messing it up anyways. It's so pretty, you would almost just not even want to use it. And this is just kind of like a little caricature of the Mariah Carey cartoons that we've seen in the past. And it's just super, super pretty. So this was definitely um, more on a bronzy side. But I am really happy with it. I think if you use a light hand, it doesn't look too bronzy because I'm not super into the bronze stuff either, but it's just so pretty. Like just the fact you can see like her hair on this side, her eyebrow, her little eye clothes with the eyelashes carved in there. They kind of did a little indent there for the nose. I mean, so neat. It has a little beauty mark and the mouth. It's just so pretty. Like I've never seen a highlighter like this and I really think MAC outdid themselves. I mean, this is just so special and for holiday, it's super, super beautiful. So I am loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm just going to do a quick swatch here on her hair because I don't want to mess up the rest of her face. That's so here's what it looks like on my finger. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. So I'm just going to swatch it here. This is what it looks like on hand. It's really, really beautiful. Like, I just think it's a really nice color. It reminds me a lot of um, Max Gold Deposit. I used to have it when I was younger, back in high school, and I was obsessed with it. And I always told myself I was gonna go back right, and get so it. So I did go back and forth for a while about whether to get an eyeshadow palette or not. They were super beautiful. The packaging was to die for. But I ended up not getting it since Max eyeshadows are not really my favorite formula. And I felt like the more I saw the eyeshadows, the more I wasn't really convinced. And instead, I just ended up replacing it with other lip products so i'm really satisfied with the lip products that i picked i'm going to show you they put on one of the lip colors it is kind of not super messed up now but because i used it and i put a liner it kind of rubbed off a little bit so i'm going to show you both of the lipsticks i have first of all get into this packaging isn't this the most beautiful thing you have ever seen in your entire existence it is just so beautiful it's this glittery silver lipstick i thought it might be textured just because of the way that it looked but it's not textured it's completely smooth it feels so nice it looks sorry right. and then when you open it here you have mariah's signature i don't know if that's going to show up there but it's mariah's signature with mac on it very beautiful all in gold and then of course you have the lipstick so my <laughs> lipstick is a little bit messed up guys sorry because i used it and my eyeliner my uh, lip liner got on it so i'm not going to show you guys there's a butterfly on it but i'm going to show, show you guys the next one so you guys can see it because it's not really going to look really great on this one but it's so beautiful like when i saw that they were going to have a butterfly imprint i was like oh my god that is like the most beautiful thing ever but it's just when you get it in person i had to just stare at it in awe like i was like i can't believe there's an there's a butterfly like sketched imprinted onto this lipstick like i love lip products and this is just next level for me i've i've never ever seen something like this and this is by the way i meant to say this sorry this is bit of bubbly so this color is absolutely beautiful both of the lipsticks that i got were cream sheens and i actually really like the cream sheen. the hand swatch it's really light hopefully the camera's picking that up very very light nude so this might
I, I was afraid it was going to be too light for my skin tone, going to wash me out. But if I put a liner, I feel like it's not really washing me out a lot. It is definitely very nude on me. But I don't feel like I ate a bag of powdered donuts. So I still think it looks pretty flattering. I really like it. I kept telling myself, like, should I get it? Should I not get it? But I just love the color so much. And I was like, no, this, this has to be for me. I kind of the next lipstick color is called Darling. I have to say that with a little sass. So Darling is very, very beautiful. Um, it's more of a pinky color. The other one's more of like a true nude. This one's definitely more pinky nude. It's, it's definitely one of my most favorite lipsticks. So this is how they look side by side. A bit of bubbly, which is a lot more nudey. And then you have Darling, which is more of a pink. It does look pretty similar to Bit of Bubbly with the liner, but it definitely does have more of a pink undertone. I feel like it has more of a white undertone in it too. It's just a lot more lighter. The next color I have for you guys here, I actually bought this one last year. It's called All I Want. It was also part of this year's collection, but last year they kind of just put it out as like a prototype. And by the time that I purchased it, um, or I was about to purchase it, I had heard rumors of a collection, but I wasn't sure. So me being me, I just purchased it anyways. And all I want, um, here you guys can see just in a regular MAC 2 Super lipstick. It's white. It kind of looks like kind of beige champagne is the color I want to say, not cream. Champagne color. It's nice if you like frosty lipsticks, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I wanted to try it off just because it was a part of Mariah MAC and whatnot. But this collection is way better. Everything else in the collection I like way better than this. But in case you purchase this and this doesn't end up being everything that you wanted it to be and more, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that with um, doing a new lip liner, you put this on top and with a gloss, it won't look half bad. And I'm also going to try this out over Rainbow Interlude just because I think that it's most similar to this one. So Rainbow Interlude is a very beautiful, it's kind of kind like of a white kind of gloss of silver sparkles in it, but also a pinky undertone. It's really, really beautiful. I really like it. I think it doesn't do it justice in pictures and swatches that I saw. It's just a really beautiful color. And just look at this packaging for the lip glosses. I mean, it has that silver top, it has Mariah's signature there in gold and the front facing. All right, and again, this was All I Want Lipstick um, with a lip liner underneath. I use Candy K again, my go-to. And then I also use Rainbow Interlude on top. I feel like I'm finding that Rainbow Interlude kind of doesn't stand out that much on lipstick. Maybe I just need to find a different way to apply it, or maybe it just looks better on its own. Um, another great way to use All I Want, which is something that I saw recently, which I didn't think was a bad idea, is that for certain skin tones, this could look really flattering as a highlighter. It's very glittery. It does have a highlighter look to it, so you can use it as a highlighter as well. If you find that you just absolutely hate it as a lipstick, you try the lip liner and the lip gloss trick, and it's still not your thing, guys. I think I haven't tried it as a highlighter, but if I do, I'll definitely post about it and let you guys know my thoughts if I like it or not. The next color I have here from the lip glasses is Butterfly Bling. Honestly, like, I wanted to try out the lip glasses and I didn't know if I was going to love them so much. Butterfly Bling was definitely um, one of the ones that I thought most people gravitate towards. It was also an online exclusive, just like the Skin Finish My Meme. I kind of feared that it would be too bronzy, but it's actually not, just because I particularly don't like bronze colors. But this is like, it has kind of like a little bit of a bronze undertone, kind of a rose, golden, but then you have like all these beautiful hints of glitter in it. It is so beautiful. Here's a hand swatch of it. Hopefully that shows on camera. If you definitely want to be a little more dressed up. I think this is a perfect, perfect color to do it with. So last but certainly not least, I have It's Just Like Honey. This color is really pretty. It has more of like a honey, nude, peachy kind of undertone to it. It's not really layering on the way that I would like it to, but it still is a really pretty color. This one definitely has more pigment than the other ones. Butterfly Bling, I really believe, was like more just glitters. Literally had a lot of bling in it. This one, it has slight glitters in it, but it's not too glittery. And even uh, Rainbow Interlude, it had glitters in it, but I feel like the glitters don't pop as much in that one. I wish they would have popped a little Here's more. a swatch of it. You guys can see here, it's a lot more pigmented than the other ones. And again, this is It's Just Like Honey. And I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see what this looks like on my lips. Let's go 
completes the Mariah Carey for Matt collection. If you haven't got your chance to purchase it online, they're going to stock in stores December 15th. So mark your calendars if you want to go get that for Christmas or buy it for a loved one. I will be um, showing more detailed photos of this collection and more detailed review on how I feel about it after wearing it for a while. If you want to see more pictures and if you want to keep up with me on um, my beauty page, you can definitely follow me at Instagram at the influence of love too. And that's the number two at the end. And I'm just gonna I really hope you guys enjoyed this review and saw several things that you liked. Thank Thanks you so much again for watching and I'll definitely see you guys on my next video.